So, culling your images, selecting the ones to keep. How do you do it? Yeah, this has baffled me for the last few years. I've got my own method and it's kind of developed over time. And recently, I thought about making this video. So I started looking at other videos, hoping there was something I was missing where somebody had the answer. And I was like, why haven't I been doing that? So anyway, in the beginning, I had a really, really bad habit. <laughs> chimping. You know chimping? You look it up. It's where you, you know, your, your subject is dancing around in front of you and you're busy looking in your, your viewfinder on your LCD screen. Now, what I used to do in the beginning, terrible, so bad. I used to think it would be saving me time when I got home. What I would do is I would fire off some shots, bird would go down, and then I'd start looking, well, I mean, at the time I had the, 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 the view screen, not the viewfinder, the mirrorless viewfinder we have now. So I would be looking at the view screen going, oh, did I get one, that one? I'd be zooming in, zooming in. I'd look up, something had flown off, I'd missed that. It's like, ah, okay, a minute, I'll, I'll get back to that in a second. Look again, right, okay, keep your eye on it, keep your eye on it, zoom in. And did I get this sharp? Delete that one, delete the other birds taken off again. And the idea was that I was deleting as I went. When I would get home, I would just have the images I selected and kept. And I could just put them on the computer and boom, I was done. And that was the other bad habit was that I was afraid then to fire off as many shots as necessary to make sure one of them at least was sharp because I didn't want to be culling them and looking through them. So it was putting restrictions on me I didn't need. So the next thing I moved on onto to solve the second problem was just keep everything, get home from a day shooting, 1,000, 2,000, whatever photos, sit down on the sofa, put the camera up and look through and go through selecting the images I wanted to keep and then deleting everything else and then putting the photos onto the computer. Then I don't know where this idea came from. It probably started about a year ago. I bought a notebook and I thought, well, look, why don't I, instead of mucking around and doing it all in camera, why don't I write down the last four digits of the file number from the, the, the photo? So what I would do is I would look into the, the viewfinder or the view screen it's, it just works that much quicker with all the dials and the, the zoom but button. You can zoom in and find, find the picture you're happy with visually from a distance before zooming in. Okay, that one's framed well. Zoom in, check. Is the, is the eye sharp the most important thing? If it is, note down that number and then it, just scroll through to the next load of subjects or if it's at a slightly different angle and do the same. So I'd start filling up this notepad with hundreds of numbers. And then when I would go on a holiday and I'd forget my notepad, I'd be on the bed with the map they gave you at the hotel, um, turn it over so it was blank, and I'd be writing down all my number, anything, an envelope, the keys came in, I turned that over and I was using that. So by the end of the holiday, I had all these strips of paper with numbers all over. And I had a little sort of joke in my head that, you know, the, the maid would come in and sort of see all these numbers. And oh, is he giving away secrets? So these passwords to something, you know, like, just, I love leaving them lying around for that reason, just to wind them up. <laughs> So some of the videos I saw were different ideas. Nobody had definitive ideas. I had even the professional photographers. Um, some of them used this thing called the rating system. So you could rate, fiddle around with the buttons and rate a, a, a photo five star. Or I think there was various stars. Um, so possibles and, you know, if you wanted to just get rid of all the twos and the threes and just keep the fours and the fives that way. I think that was faffy because you had to do that to each individual photo. Now, if you wanted to see the images on the computer, We'll just have a run through of that first. This is a little tip that I only worked out several months ago. We, we came across a little adapter, uh, SD card to USB adapter to plug into the computer. And I just tested it to see if it worked. And what I noticed straight away was all of the images came up immediately, no matter how many thousands are on the, on the card. When I was plugging my camera straight in, it was just this constant, constant waiting for each page each couple of hundred to load, couple of hundred to load. If you had thousands, you could wait sort of, you know, five minutes for your images to load if you wanted to sort of select one. It was super cheap. I think it was like six pound 50 or something on Amazon. So definitely worth buying for that price. And yeah, it's instant. Like if sometimes I've forgotten to take off an image uh, uh, before it would have been plug this in, wait for the, for it to load and load and load again. But now I just plug it in and it opens straight away. I've selected view in order of type. So the videos always come at the bottom and I can select all the videos quite quickly because usually I take fewer videos than all the photos you fire off. So a helpful little tip there, just aside. Now, when you plug 
the camera into the computer or via SD card or the images are already on the computer, it is really faffy to be mucking around, zooming into each one. It's using raw images, so you're gonna, you're gonna experience some lag unless you're using some top equipment. What I do is I, now I've moved from my 90D, which only had an LCD screen to mirrorless, Having a, the viewfinder, being able to see the photos in the viewfinder is game changer because no more problems with glare from the sun. So now I can just put the camera up to my eye at home on the sofa and just flick through the dials, zoom in, zoom out, super quick and just write down my numbers. And what I do is I leave all the photos on there for anything up to two weeks. If, you know, if I'm on holiday, I might have filled the card by then, but usually I leave them on there because if I do make a mistake, if I don't write down, if I'm, you know, one day I'm thinking, I'm sure I took a picture of that bird and that bird or something. And I'm like, why is it not in my computer? So I go into my camera, ah, I didn't transfer it, a little mistake. If you'd have deleted everything, you'd have been in trouble. So the idea with the selecting the star system would be put it on this computer, then you can mass delete. And I don't like that. It's fraught with danger. If there's any kind of mistake, like this is why I never use cloud. I don't trust it. When I do any updates on my phone, I don't use the, the cloud, the sync, I do do that to keep everything on my phone, as in all the data and the apps and things like that. But with photos, I plug in the phone to the computer and I manually copy everything, all the videos and photos I've taken and put them on. So I know it's done and it's easily accessible in a file, not in the cloud. Where it's like if you're not signed in or there's a server failure or you leave Apple, whatever reason, I don't, I simply do not trust it. They even made a, a movie about a tape, an, an S, 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 S tape. Um, that sent all the video out to lots of different people when it shouldn't have done. It's fraught with danger. So I like to go old school manual, as is the case with writing down the numbers. And until somebody presents me with a, an easier idea, I'm sticking with that. I've, I've, I've been working with it for a year. I'm quite happy with it. And all I do then is I just put the notepad or the bit of scrap paper I was using next to me on my desk, open all the images on the SD card, and then just, yeah, yeah, I do have to go through and find the number, but it's relatively quick, they're all in order. Just tap, 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 holding the shift down, copy, transfer. And if you want to, if you think you've definitely got them on, then you can delete everything on the card. But like I said, I leave them all on there and I've got, I'm, I'm worry-free for the next two, three weeks while they're still there. Yeah, so don't chimp. By all means, have a quick check of your camera settings to make sure the exposure is right, because something could be wrong and you're just firing away saying, oh, that guy on the, on the internet, YouTube, said just to fire away to my heart's content and sort it out at home. No, 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 just double check your settings very quickly, but none of this five minutes staring into it, doing stuff while things are happening in front of you. All right, <laughs> so don't chimp, very bad. Or pixel peep, the other term is pixel peep, have you heard that one?